Hello everybody. Today we will discuss about the human reproductive system. The human reproductive system, also known as the genital system, helps in reproduction, uh, reproduction and it comprises of internal and external organs. The structure and the functions of the organs of male and female reproductive system differ but both male and female reproductive organs are known as gonads. These, these produces the reproductive cells called gametes. The male produces spermatozoa in the testes and the female produces ova in the ovaries. Each gamete contains chromosomes which carry genes from which the offspring inherit their parents' characteristic. So first of all, the female reproductive system, the female reproductive system consists of uterus uh, and uh, fallopian tubes, ovaries and vagina. First of the fall, we will discuss about the fundal uh, uterus. The uterus or the womb, uh, womb, also called womb, is a hollow, mainly muscular organ. It provides with the, it is provided with the endometrial cavity, which is also known as the uterine cavity. During uh, over here, during pregnancy, fetus development takes place. The two ovaries are placed on either side of the indexa where the egg or the ova develops. The fallopian tubes, uh, they are also two in number, one on either side, right and left, and they carry the ovum and the, fer uh, and the fertilization take place within the fallopian tubes. Cervix, the lower part of the uterus, connects the vagina which is a muscular organ or tube uh, that connects it to the external genitalia. Uterine layers or walls, layer, uterine wall layers are peri, peri means around, metrium means uh, muscles, so around the muscles, myometrium means, myo means muscles and metrium means uh, uterus, endo means inner and metrium means uterus, so inner cavity of the uterus. The perimetrium is the outermost capsular layer which is a thin serous membrane and it cover, covers the uterus all around. And mainly this uterus is comprises of this layer which is called uh, myometrium. This is the middle layer of the smooth muscle tissue. It contracts during labor to facilitate childbirth. The third layer is the innermost layer, uh, which is the endometrium that lines the uterine cavity. It undergoes cyclical changes during the menstrual cycle. It sheds off if no pregnancy occurs in a cycle, but if pregnancy occurs, it begins to support the pregnancy. Uterus, one by one we will discuss each. Uterus uh, comprises of three parts. The uppermost is the fundus. The middle broader portion is the body. And final, finally, the lower most portion the cervix. The fundus is rounded, dome shaped top of the uterus. It is situated, situated above the entrance of the fallopian tube. These are the entrances of the fallopian tubes. So the fundus is separated above the entrances of the fallopian tube. It is the highest point of the uterus where when a woman is in an upright position, the fundus play, plays a crucial role during pregnancy. As the fertilized egg implants in the endometrium, the 
fundus expands and accommodate the growing embryo and later on which is called the fetus. The fundal height is a key measurement during pregnancy indicating the gestational age though there are more accurate other measures of finding the gestational age of the fetal growth. The myometrium is the muscular layer of the uterus and makes up the majority of its thickness. During pregnancy, the myometrium undergoes hypertrophy or you can say enlargement and becomes more contractile to accommodate the growing fetus and assist in labor during childbirth. The contractions of the myometrium plays a crucial role in expelling the baby along with the placenta during delivery. Cervix is the lower part of the uterus that connects the body uh, uh, with the uh, vagina. So it also plays a very important role in female reproductive system. The cervix is this portion, the lowermost portion of the uterus. This, it is cylindrical in shape. It has two main parts, the endocervix and the ectocervix. And it has two openings. The one which is towards the uterine or cavity or endometrial cavity is called internal os. And the one which is towards the vagina outside is called external os. The external os is the opening at the bottom of the cervix and it leads into vagina. The internal os is the opening at the top of the cervix that connects it with, with the uterine cavity. The cervical canal is this portion between the internal os and the external os. It contains cervical mucus which changes in consistency from the menstrual cycle to facilitate or inhibit the passage of the sperm. Basically the function of the cervix is it acts uh, or serves as a barrier between the uterus and vagina and during menstruation the menstrual blood passes through the cervix into the vagina and during childbirth the uh, cervix facilitates uh, or uh, it dilates to allow the passage of the baby from the uterus to the vagina. The ovaries are paired organs, one on either side, that is in right agnexa and left agnexa in the pelvic cavity. Ovaries are typically almond shaped and about the size of an almond. The size of the ovaries can vary, especially depending upon the pre-menopausal or post-menopausal uh, stages. Uh, ovaries contain thousands of small structures or rounded structures called follicles. During each cycle, approximately 9 to 10 follicles comes out of the stroma or the parenchymal functional tissue to grow or develop to a mature follicle. Each of them encloses an immature egg, also called oocyte. Remember, oogenesis is the process of egg cell development. Ovaries are endocrine organs, meaning they produce hormones. The main hormones produced by the ovaries are estrogen uh, from the developing follicle and progesterone from the ruptured follicle, also called as corpus luteum. Uh, these hormones play a crucial role in the menstrual cycle, uh, also in pregnancy, especially progesterone hormone and overall in the female reproductive health. It usually occurs about midway through the menstrual cycle and staggered by the hormonal changes. Fallopian tubes, the fallopian tubes also known as the uterine tubes or oviducts, these are also paired uh, one on either side of the uterine fundus, fundus. They play a very crucial role 
in female reproductive system as they carry the ova or egg when it is released from the ovaries and then uh, it, it, uh, it, uh, it, uh, it is taken up by these finger like projections the ova released from the ovary is taken up by the finger like projections which are called fimbri uh, and these finger like projections are arising from uh, the infundibulum which is the part of the uh, fallopian tube basically uh, fallopian tube is divided into three parts the one which connects with the uterus is called isthmus uh, it is the narrower or the proximal part of the tube and it connects to the uterus then comes this ampulla it is a little bit more wider than compared to the isthmus it is the middle portion of the tube and this is the portion where the uh, union of egg or ovary and sperm take place means the fertilization take place in, uh, in front of them as we have discussed these finger like uh, projections uh, called fundia are arising from the infundibulum which is a funnel shaped distal end of the tube very near or close to the or adjacent to the ovary and these fundia will can capture the egg which is released from the ovary during a process called ovulation.